Gentlemen, it's me, Jim Kincaid, and I just want to give you guys a little bit of an update. As you know, I've connected the GBDH2000 to the iPhone app, and uh, for two reasons. Number one, uh, you know, I have the Mudman now, so I have a watch that doesn't have Bluetooth that's like kind of like my day-to-day -day watch I wear at work, or if stuff hits the fan, you know, I'll be wearing the Mudman. And this is more of my fitness watch, okay? So there's a lot more functionality, obviously, when you hook it up to the app. You know, I don't really like Bluetooth, and I don't like excessive Bluetooth exposure. But uh, some individuals were asking me about uh, the, the various functions, particularly sleep tracking, okay? And one gentleman is Prince2132, is asking about the sleep tracking. And, uh, you know, I was telling him that, that I'll test it out, you know, and, and he said he was very interested. So this is obviously an important topic to him. Now, just to let you guys know that, that I, like the sleep tracking, I mean, I just kind of gauge, do I feel tired, okay? And that's about as sophisticated as I get with the sleep tracking. But uh, some, some guys out there, they really want to know. So I, I gave a little bit of a trial run for the past couple days. Now the problem is without Bluetooth and without the app, it doesn't, it doesn't consistently calculate your sleep quality, okay? And since I have it hooked up to the app, like I'll show you what's, what's on the watch. Now first of all, you notice this watch face is different. This is actually another reason why I wanted to try out the uh, connectivity with the Casio Watches app. You can change watch face number five to display extra information, okay? So the cool thing about the square heart, which is what I call the, the, uh, the, the DWH5600, is that you can have a watch face that displays your heart rate. I think that's great. And I was lamenting that there was no such watch face on the GBDH2000. Uh, several commenters mentioned that in the app, you can change watch face number five to display whatever information you want. And I just want to let you guys know that I'm pretty disappointed in watch face number five. Even with the app control, you have four sections in each one of these. You choose what's displayed. Look how tiny the heart rate numbers are. This is 103. I'm getting worked up, right? Because <laughs> these are pretty small. You know, I can read them if I look. Some of you guys wearing reading glasses may not be able to see that at all. So it's a disappointment. I wish that the GBDH2000 just had a watch face that had those, those big numerals for your heart rate. Anyways, that's a sidetrack. Uh, getting back on, on focus with the sleep quality. So as I explained before in a previous video, I work in an oil field with very irregular hours. And so, uh, part of the problem with the sleep tracking is it doesn't automatically detect when, when you're sleeping during the whole course of the day. You need to add in to the settings uh, when, when your bedtime is, and it will narrow that down to, to analyze your sleep patterns it, within those hours that you've designated as your bedtime, okay? So I think I have this set between 10 p.m. and 8 a.m. And uh, so when you scroll through what, what it turns out they're called widgets, I didn't know that, but uh, that's what Casio calls them. When you go to uh, sleep tracking, I think I just went by it, nightly recharge, and then you hit enter, it says very poor. And uh, this whole video is just an update video. I mean, I'm not pretending to be the expert on, on the functions. I'm still learning them, okay? But I'm just giving you guys an update. It's saying my sleep is very poor. I'm, I'm getting more sleep now than I, than I normally do. You know, like I have the past few days I've been at home. So I've had consistent days uh, sleep. And why it says very poor, I don't know. I mean, maybe it sees elevated heart rate during, you know, for a little bit of time between 10 p.m. and 8 a.m. Uh, I ate a lot of chili yesterday at a Halloween party and maybe a little too much candy. I had some, uh, an upset little tummy last night, had to get up and, 
you know, visit the uh, old porcelain throne at 3 a.m. Maybe that's factoring into the very poor sleep quality. Uh, you know, it's wondering, you know, why I'm exerting myself at 3 a.m. for some, some reason. Well, that's, that's the reason. Chili and Halloween candy. And by the way, we were trick-or-treating, and, and uh, we heard that uh, a family had set up an organ, an outside organ, and Denise is an organist, and we're music lovers, so we we went over there, and and it was really cool. This guy had an organ set up. He was all dressed up. His wife was dressed up like a witch, and, and they had set up uh, like a screen with all of these videos. And when I pulled up, he was playing uh, No More Tears. I guess it was like the grand finale. And his son was out there playing the violin. I made a short of it. You can see it in my YouTube shorts. And uh, they had a theremin there, which is like, you know, a creepy instrument. They let Denise jump onto, onto the organ, and she has on her YouTube channel her playing uh, Bach. Anyways, this says my sleep quality is very poor. Now, let's go to the app. Uh, I get this app right here, and, uh, you know, and I'll show you on the Casio Watches app. This app, I mean, I'm, I'm disappointed. I've only been using it for a few days. I've had the watch for seven months. I've only, I got this when it first came out. Like I pre-ordered it. I think that it came, I ordered it before it was even available. And I've just used, been using the app for a few days. But when you go to, to down on the bottom, my page, uh, it will show you the life log, which is the steps you take during the day. And yes, we still have to test the accuracy of the step counter. Uh, a few gentlemen have asked me about that. That is still on the to-do list. It says I'm overreaching. Kind of a joke. Nightly recharge. Okay, so this is the subject of today's video. Very poor. Again, that's, that's wild why I would say it's, it's very poor. I don't know. But ANS charge, it says down, negative 8.4. Sleep charge down 61. Actual sleep time seven hours and 45 minutes. How in the world they would say that that's bad? I don't know. But there they are saying that seven hours and 45 minutes of sleep uh, is bad. And uh, so this is the nightly recharge from last night. And it's showing that uh, it was six hours and 18 minutes so so you can get that information from the app you can get that information from the watch okay and uh and and i'll do some more research about the uh the sleep checker but like i said i don't think that i'm going to get really good readings because you know already i have a job tomorrow in carlsbad at you know, at 4 a.m. So that's that's like, how do you? You'd have, I guess, would I have to like update my my sleep time every night, based on you know when I'm waking up or sleeping if I have irregular <laughs> sleep time? I don't know. We're testing this out, all right. So stay tuned, and I'll give you more updates about about the uh, the, the sleep tracking function as well as well as other. Uh, as well as uh, the other tests on the GBDH 2000 and the DWH 5600, if anybody's interested. This one, I'm gonna test more of just a, as a notification watch. It doesn't have a GPS, so it's, its ability to track your fitness is based solely on the step counter and the heart rate monitor. So I'm just gonna see how well this does. Just a lot of, a lot of guys out there, they just wanna have like a, 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 a vibration alarm on their wrist for to relay you know uh, notifications that are coming from the phone they really don't want a smartphone or a watch they don't want all the w bells and whistles they just want notification so i'm going to be testing the square heart as a notification watch see how well it does i personally am not really into all that bluetooth stuff but i know a lot of you guys out there are which is why we're testing it out that you know if you if you are interested in purchasing the GBDH 2000, but you want to know about uh, sleep, the sleep function, that's what we're testing out now, okay? And I'm sorry to say, I, I can't really compare it to any other uh, sleep 
tracking functions like on, on the Apple OS or Android because I don't have any experience with it. Like I said, I'm kind of an old-fashioned idiot. You know, uh, I'm pretty much tired all the time. That's why I'm pounding uh, Ghost Energy drinks and, and C4 Energy drinks, you know, like two or three a day, some days four, you know, uh, just, uh, you know, trying, trying to stay alert. But anyways, that's an update for, th for today. I'm Jim Kincaid. Thanks for watching.